Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Andrew Yang, and we're going to talk about Kai Watson's decision to drop out of college to drive Andrew Yang's message forward right now in Iowa. All right, let's 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 get into this. All right, so uh, this is a pretty huge event in, uh, in, in Yang tubing, absolutely, uh, and in Andrew Yang's campaign overall. Uh, and for millennials, uh, and I think uh, you know, also for modern politics. I, I think this is a really big moment, and um, there is so much happening in this 2020 election, it's pretty incredible. But I want to take a moment to talk about this. So uh, I want to talk about what is happening here, why this is happening, what are the ramifications of this uh, of Kai Watson's decision, and what should Andrew Yang's response be to this? All right. So what is happening here? Let's let's talk about this. So I think a lot of you, a good number of you may know who Kai Watson is, but I'm going to define the terms here just in case people don't know. So Kai Watson is a millennial. He uh, he actually may be Gen Z. He's very young, a young person, like 18, 19, 20 at the max, okay? Um, and he's a college student. He is a voter. He's of voting age, okay? Uh, and he's in college, right? Now, he is also an experienced YouTuber. Before Yan- Andrew Yang came along, uh, Kai Watson had a YouTube channel, and he was experienced at uploading videos. It's part. Of, it's a very important part of all this, right? Um, and he was an experienced YouTuber. Uh, Andrew Yang came along, and Kai Watson got very excited about Andrew Yang being president. I get that part, right? Andrew Yang's this super brilliant, once-in-ten-generation leader, uh, super intelligent, uh, once in ten generation leader, uh, really noble heart, just you know a stellar human being who every single one of us would be incredibly blessed if he becomes president of the United States of America. And frankly, I think that blessing would extend to the entire world. Like, there's a ton on the line here. We we really need Andrew Yang to be president, right? And uh, and Kai Watson's, you know, he would say it in a, different words, but he is really really hyper focused on Andrew Yang becoming president, right? And so. Uh, so Kai Watson is a super young person who is super excited about um, Andrew Yang being president. And because he was an experienced YouTuber, he switched over like uh, much earlier in this year. He's been doing it maybe like four, five, six months, right? And he has got a, he opened up a second uh, YouTube channel all about Yang. And Kai Watson has built up a very significant following, you know, thousands of followers, um, that uh, listens to him every day talk about Yang and Yang momentum and Yang's road to the White House, right? Uh, and so it's it's important. Now, why is Kai Watson important? Well, I, I, I hear you. A lot of people are like, oh, it's important that Kai Watson gets in to make millennials vote. No, wrong. Uh, the reason I think that Kai Watson is really super important is Kai Watson is super important because the, the media is absolutely in love with youth. Uh, cameras are drawn to youth um, it's a magnet, right? Like, you know, camera, like media cameras are drawn to youth, period, like a magnet. Like they, they just lock in, boom, here's a young person, let's talk, you know, for a whole lot of reasons. One of the biggest reasons is when you get a young person as a, um, for very financial reasons, right? When you get a young person uh, locked into watching your content and they watch your content, they buy your stuff for decades. It's a, it's a big reason, right? Like it's a big one. Uh, and then for a whole host of other reasons, right? But the media absolutely loves young people. They And so when, you know, Kai Watson, who's a very intelligent, charismatic young person is talking about uh, Andrew Yang, the media immediately turns, right? And he can get interviews more easily and um, and people pay attention to Andrew Yang more easily because uh, Kai Watson is is on the scene. It's it's really a big deal, right? And it's also even more super important right now because of the septuagenarian trinity. Number one in the polls right now are three seventy year olds, right? So if you got a if you got a candidate who is real who has young people excited about them, that's important because frankly, I'll tell you right now, young people are. Very, very checked out on this election. They could care less at the macro level. Uh, The millennials could care less about this election, right? If you're expecting a ton of millennials to show up in this election, you ain't paying attention. Millennials ain't going to be showing up in this election. There's going to be a few of them, right? But the reality is Kai Watson absolutely drives a huge amount of traffic and attention and focus toward 
uh, Andrew Yang, and he needs and Andrew Yang needs every bit of it. And Kai Watson shows this sharp, sharp, sharp division between Andrew Yang and Elizabeth Warren, seventy years old, and Bernie Sanders, seventy eight years old, and uh, Joe Biden, seventy seven years old. Right? Like it's just like you know, there's. You know, Kai Watson, any of those people could be their great, his great, great grandparent, right? Like, whereas Andrew Yang, like, could be Kai Watson's dad, you know, like, and it, it just, it, like, when you see, like, when, you know, when Kai Watson's talking about him, you know, and the reality is millennials sure as heck are not excited about Biden and Warren. Bernie Sanders, granted, right? Like, he, because of his socialism, um, and socialism is like kind of a revolutionary idea. Been a lot of revolts, a lot of revolts around uh, around socialism, right? And young people do like revolution, right? Yeah. So Bernie Bernie does have some some younger voters, right? But forget it with Biden and Warren. Like ain't, ain't no millennials buzzing around Warren and Biden. It, it just ain't happening, right? So it's really important that Kai Watson's there. Okay. All right. Kai Watson has just announced that he is dropping out of college, dropping out of college. Not kidding. Not a joke. Like, I'm quitting college. Bye. Right? Like, like, just announced it this week. Right? He's going to Iowa, and he is going to campaign. He's going to, like, uh, I, I don't think he's connected officially to, to Yang's campaign. He's not, like... He's not hiring on with cam- with Yang's campaign. He is going there and he's going to go, you know, door to door and say, "Please vote for Andrew Yang. Sign this petition. Can you donate?" The whole nine. He's going to carry the banner for Yang in Iowa, right? Huge decision, right? So that is the what, all right? Why is this happening? It's a really big deal why this is happening. So one of the biggest reasons this is happening is What's happening right now between you and me, right? YouTube, right? It's you and me and this tube, this connection, right? I cannot tell you how important this is. YouTube is massive and it is changing the world every day very, very swiftly, right? I am a massive fan and uh, I'm incredibly thankful for YouTube, right? Uh, I've been on YouTube like like six years, Right? And the reality is I'm incredibly thankful for it. I can post a video every single day for free and somebody can watch my my video in Mauritius, Africa, right? Like, I'm not kidding. Like, the next day, right? For nothing. I don't have to spend a dime. They don't have to spend a dime. It's crystal clear. The streaming's done. And you know why that is? It's because Google, Google, Google. Google is the pure Mac awesome Optimus Prime of technology. Google rocks. I'm a pure Google fanboy. I'm a huge Google fan. And guess what? YouTube is powered by Google Juice, right? And Google, Google, like the janitors at Google have PhDs. Google rocks, right? And YouTube is huge. It is the absolute future, okay? I cannot tell you how big a deal this is, right? And the fact that I can upload a video tonight and, you know, and literally, you know, uh, a, a, a political wonk sitting in Mauritius, Africa can can watch it the next morning, right? And neither one of us spent a dime. Do you know what it takes to get there? I can tell you what it takes to get there. It takes, like, servers sunk, in, you know, under a mountain and water-cooled in the middle of Switzerland, Right? Like the scale and the infrastructure that it takes to run YouTube and to do video at the scale YouTube does, nobody in the world but Google can do it, right? And it is unprecedented. And the ability for anyone in the world to get their message out like that is unprecedented. And Kai Watson knows it, leverages it, and is running that thing and, and just ratcheting that lever back and using it and using it and using it, right? And it's powerful. It's incredibly powerful, right? And the reason why Kai is ex- incredibly excited is he he had an idea. He had a passion. He he said, hey, I'm excited about Andrew Yang. He started talking about it on his YouTube channel. He has thousands of people, you know, resonating with what he's saying. And, and that feedback loop, he's like, oh, my gosh, 
I can make a difference. I can change the future of 330 million people in America. And Kai Watson is 100% right. Right? This is a new freaking day, man. YouTube is incredibly powerful. Kai Watson is incredibly powerful. All of this happening right now, this is unprecedented, right? People are saying, oh, I don't have a voice. You know, how can I get my message out? All you got to do is turn on your camera, like get to talking, right? Like it's, you know, it's, it's truly incredible. It's a little more complicated than that. And actually let's, let's talk about Kai Watson's experience, right? So one of the things is that I think people are learning a little bit about with this YouTube thing is a lot of people were excited about Yang, right? And they want to help get the message out on YouTube for, for, for Yang. But one thing that's really interesting is the people who are getting traction, getting Yang's message out on YouTube, which is incredibly helpful and is really part of the secret sauce of why you, why Yang is succeeding, right? Uh, because you there are no Biden tubers. There are no Warren tubers. They don't exist, right? If I'm wrong, please me, point me to them because I would really love to see them. I never seen one in my feed. I never even heard of one, right? Point me to them. I'm glad, I'm, I'll be glad to be shown wrong. I don't think they exist, right? Uh, but we're really part of the solution here. And this is a very, very, very big deal. So, you know, basically... Uh, he, here's the issue. You can't just come and do Yang videos, right? You got to know what you're doing. YouTube is a little tricky. Cutting video is tricky. Uh, talking to the public is tricky. There's risk to it, right? And so uh, Kai Watson, you know, so when I started doing Yang videos, I had already cut my teeth on Dungeons and Dragons videos. When Kai Watson came to do Yang videos, he had already cut his video, his, his teeth on other content, right? So a lot, so the, and Paget Kagi, same thing. Right when Paget Kagi started doing Yang videos, she had already cut her to. Well, you want to talk about nerds for Yang? Take a look at what his background is. That that dude knows video, right? Like, and that's the point. There's a lot of people who are doing content for Yang right now. They ain't just rolling out. You know, they they they're not they're not doing content for the first time. They're bringing a serious skill set in for Yang. Same thing with Kai Watson, right? And it's important, right? So these are skilled YouTube veterans, right, coming in and doing their thing for Yang. And it's a very, very, very big deal, right? And YouTube is very hard for, I think, for the DNC, for the Democrat voter base, for the, you know, for, for whatever powers exist out there. I don't think they really know how to control YouTube yet. And YouTube has real power. So Kai Watson going out there and saying, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be on the ground in Iowa every day and you're gonna see video of it, that's a really, really big deal. All right, now let's talk about the ramifications of that. Okay, what are the ramifications of it? They're huge, right? So there's two th there's three things that can happen. Three things, okay. Uh, at the macro level. There's a few permutations that I'm not gonna talk about, but these are like the th the three big ones, right? Kai jumps in, uh, he does his job well, he pushes for Andrew Yang. I keep pushing for Andrew Yang. You keep pushing for Andrew Yang. It all works out. We get Andrew Yang for president in November of 2020, right? And he starts on January 21st, 2020, uh, on, on January 20th, 2021, right? He sits down in the Oval Office. Everything works out, right? Great, right? That's a possibility, right? And the reality is that's why Kai is doing this. He sees the reality of really helping 330 million people and he's passionate and he wants to help. That's the golden path and that can happen. Okay. There's a little, there's a possibility, right? Now, I don't think this is a huge possibility, but there's a distinct possibility of it, right? There's a possibility of a, of a medium road, right? Yang loses and, uh, and then Kai Watson goes, I did the best I could. And then he goes back to college, right? Everything's, and everything's, there's a bump in the road. Maybe his parents are a little upset, right? Because they've been investing, right? You know, and, you know, and at minimum time, if not money, you know, they care about him. My kid told me they're dropping out of college. Oh boy. Like, I'd be a little upset, right? You know, so, you know, and this middle road, he goes back to college, everything's cool, right? Or everything's okay, right? Everything's smoothed over, right? There's a third path here, right? Yang loses and Kai never makes it back. It's a possibility, right? Now, how could that happen, right? Well, I'll tell you, anytime you try to do anything, anytime you try to do anything, three things are involved. People, processes, and tools, okay? Now, uh, the processes in this, one, he, you know, when Kai tries to go back, he might not be able to transfer all his uh, his, his credits. There could be problems, in, you know, on, on transferring his credits over. 
uh, to wherever he's back. When he goes back, if he didn't shut everything down, if he didn't t cross every T and dot every I, he could lose a lot of credits, right? It, it could be a significant issue, right? Um, the tools. The tools are fine. I think, you know, he's learning technology. All that's going to turn into gold. I think that will help him anywhere he goes. The tools are not a risk. The people are a major, major risk, right? When you're talking early stage people who are like, uh, who are on the ground helping with an early stage election, right? I think 90 for 90% 90 are going to be the best people in the world and 10% might be not right. Like, and, and frankly, I got concerns with some of the people that Kai is going to be connecting with, right? Take a look at some of the names connected to the people that Kai is about to connect himself to, right? Some of the blank, blank, blank are a little frightening, right? And, and, you know, this is a young kid. Like, he's an adult. He is an adult, right? And I say kid, he's, this is a young person, right? And, you know, some of the tags coming after the names of the people he's he's going to be doing work with scared the living heck out of me, right? Like, and, and that's the issue is when you get down there, people have habits, people have things they like to do, and you get off on the wrong track, especially when you're a young man, that goes sideways, you can lose everything, right? So that's the third path is, he goes down there, he can, you know, he, he does the best he can to get Yang in, Yang loses, and he never gets back on the road to, uh, to, to college, right? And he skids out, he doesn't get the skill set he needs, uh, you know, um, potential and momentum of his life is squandered. It's a possibility, right? Now, what's the, what's the probability of it, Okay. Now, here, okay, I'm a Dungeons & Dragons player, so I'm going to give it to you in Dungeons & Dragons terms. Uh, Dungeons & Dragons uses, uses a polyhedral set of dice, right? Right now, he's going to Iowa, right? He's going to, and, and Yang is rolling the dice, right? That's, that's all that's happening in this election. He's just rolling the dice, right? Now, I think when Andrew Yang rolls the dice, if we get a 2 through a 20 on a D20, on a 1 through 20 uh, uh, decahedron uh, die, on a D20, 2 through 20, we win. We roll a 1, we lose. So I think there's a 5% chance that Yang is going to lose in, uh, in in November, right? If that's a, if that happens, that's a huge problem for Kai Watson. Huge problem for Kai Watson, right? And then I think if that happens, Kai has to roll another die, which is, did he choose the right people to hook up with? Did he make sure he didn't, he didn't, he didn't connect to any of their bad habits? right? He rolls another die, right? And I think as long as that die doesn't come up a one, he's fine, right? But if, if Kai Watson, if, if Andrew Yang rolls his die and he comes up with a one and he loses, and then Kai Watson rolls his die and he comes up with a one and he chose the wrong people and he connected some of their habits to his habits, that's a one in 400 chance that Kai never gets back to, to, to college it's all done. That kid, like, and that young man is finished. Like, like, and in this world, I'll tell you right now, I, I, I really think you're going to have a hard road without a college degree nowadays. It ain't like it was even five, 10, 20 years ago. Right. And, and it could, there's a real risk here. All right. So that's the ramifications of this right now is Kai Watson right to take this risk? 100% yes, absolutely. Right. It's a one hundred four chance. It's a one in four hundred chance percent chance of it going wrong, in my opinion, right? And you do not accomplish great things without risk. I am thankful for the risk that Kai Watson is putting on the line for me, for Yang, and for every American. I appreciate his courage. I appreciate the risk that he's taken. I think it's worth it. I really do. What should Andrew Yang's response to Kai Watson's decision be? Right. Should he uh, call up Kai Watson? And, and by the way, if you think that's crazy, it's not. Kai Watson has met Andrew Yang. He's spoken with him directly. Why? Because Kai Watson linked up with Padgett Kagey, and Padgett Kagey, I'm pretty sure, just introduced him. Right? Like That's how it rolled. Right? And Padgett Kagey, right now, she is winning Yang tubing. Right? She is number one Yang tuber in the world. Right? And so, Yang, so should Yang call up and Kai and go, hey, you need to get back to college? Or should he go, hey, thank you very much. I very much need you in Iowa. And the reality is Yang does need him in Iowa. He needs everybody can get in Iowa right now, right? Um, or should she say, hey, should I 
You know, should he call him up and say, hey, thank you very much for being in Iowa? Here's the thing. He should do neither. I really think at this point Andrew Yang should not thank uh, Kai Watson for this sacrifice. And I think he should not encourage him to go back. And the reason why is Kai Watson, he's his own man, right? And he is taking a risk and he's doing this. He's making this decision. And sometimes it's about the candidate, but sometimes it's about the nation. And I think a lot of, at this point, you know, with this decision, this is about the nation. And Kai Watson is saying, I really want to sacrifice for America. I respect that. I think it's a huge, awesome accomplishment. Or it's a huge, awesome risk. And it's really putting a lot on the line. It's pretty incredible. I think this is a huge, huge, like, thing that's happening here. All that's my opinion. I'd love to hear your opinion. Let me know in the uh, comments below. Please consider liking and subscribing. And have a wonderful Millennium.